This is All India Radio, Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. The centre has given one month extension till 31st of this month to complete the enumeration process for updating the National Register of Citizens in Assam. In a notification, the Registrar General of India said, the decision has been taken in public interest as the exercise to en enumerate citizens in the NRC could not be completed within the specified date of 30th June. On 6th December 2013, the government had issued the first notification setting a deadline of three years to complete the entire NRC process. However, many extensions have been given as the exercise could not be completed. The final list of the NRC will be published on July 31 this year. The entire state of Nagaland has been declared a disturbed area for six more months till December end under the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. The Act has been in force in Nagaland for several decades. In a notification, the Ministry of Home Affairs said the central government was of the opinion that the area comprising the whole state of Nagaland is in such a disturbed and dangerous condition that the use of armed forces in aid of the civil power is necessary. Various organizations in the Northeast as well as in Jammu and Kashmir called for repealing of AFSPA, which they say gives sweeping powers to security forces to conduct operations and arrest anyone without prior notice. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal yesterday flagged off the first international flight connecting Guwahati and Dhaka at Borchar Airport in Guwahati. Sonowal said that the direct air connectivity of Assam with all capitals of Southeast Asian countries is the goal of the state government. The international air connectivity scheme is the result of the Chief Minister's request to the Centre to consider connecting Guwahati to the capitals of ASEAN and BBN countries through the scheme similar to Uran, with viability gap funding wherever needed. The Assam government has committed 100 crore rupees per year for three years under the viability gap funding. In Meghalaya, a smart Shillong mobile app was launched yesterday as part of the Digital India Anniversary Day by Minister in Charge Information Technology Communications, Hamletson Dolling. Congratulating the National Informatics Centre for taking the initiative to develop the mobile app, the Minister said, with the advancement of technology, government employees should also get themselves updated and extra effort is needed to take the state forward in the field of information technology. Through this app, people can access various information like tourism-related activities, emergency phone numbers, important government contacts, current market price, government orders, tenders, land value calculator, electoral rolls, weather, GST registration, lodging of grievances to government, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and others. Tripura Chief Minister Biplop Kumar Dev yesterday appealed to people to abide by the norms laid down by the National Green Tribunal while warning that anyone found throwing garbage on the roads and urinating in public would be punished. He said that his government has taken up the onerous task of keeping civic body areas garbage free. Inaugurating a workshop on solid waste and liquid resource management, the Chief Minister said that people dump garbage and polybags in the open, clogging drains and sewerage system, and some urinate in public and spit on roads. He called for raising awareness to stop this menace. All India Radio Shillong yesterday celebrated its 72nd Foundation Day. The station was established on 1st July 1948 when Shillong was then capital of Assam and it was inaugurated by the then Governor of Assam, Sir Akbar Haidari, in the presence of then Chief Minister of Assam, Gopinath Bordoloi. AIR Shillong is serving listeners in the length and breadth of the state by giving them information, education and entertainment apart from disseminating rich cultural heritage of Meghalaya. AIR Shillong has a wide spectrum of program pattern for listeners. The regional news unit generates news in Kasi, Jaintia, Garo, Northeast News in English, besides relaying the national news. All India Radio Guwahati also celebrated its foundation day. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.